Before we begin, there are a few things I need to make sure you understand. You see, no one can change what happened last year. The past is beyond our control. You have to accept this in order to move forward. But there is freedom in this revelation. Everything you do, every decision you make from now on will open doors to the future. I want you to remember this. I want you to remember this as you play your game. Every single choice will affect your fate and the fate of those around you. So, you have committed to commence with this game. This is significant. And I want to help you see it through. Sometimes, sometimes these things can be a little scary, even terrifying, but I'm here to make sure that no matter how upsetting things may get, you will always find a way to work through it. Hmm? <laughs> All right. We will start with a simple exercise. Could you please pick up a card? And I want you to look at the picture on the other side and tell me what you feel about it. It is essential that you answer honestly in order to get the most out of this experience. So, how did that picture make you feel? Remember, be honest. Okay, honesty is good. What do you think it is that makes you feel uneasy? Well, I see, I see. Let's see. The scarecrow were not there. Would you feel comfortable staying there on your own for a period of time? Let's say a week, for example. Huh. And what if I told you that this cottage was haunted? Oh. All right, all right. I sense that you suffer from a significant fear of, of the supernatural. What lies beyond the veil of death is, after all, the ultimate unknown. Don't you agree? And what could inspire fear more than the terror of uncertainty? Please remember, this is only a game. Well, we seem to be out of time for this session. But we'll talk again very soon. Okay? Hello again. And how are we feeling? Hmm? In our last session, we established that you have a fear of things that are dead or undead. This time, we're going to try to understand the root of your anxiety. Now pick up that book. Turn the pages. You will see a set of pictures and symbols. I want you to identify which image in each set makes you the most anxious. Oh. Did I startle you? So sorry. You're doing very well. Don't be nervous. Try to speed up a bit. The more you rely on your instincts, the more honest your answers will be, and the more enlightening you will find this experience. 
This is very interesting. Thank you for answering so diligently. <laughs> Cockroaches, clowns, and dogs. The sun combination sounds like a good Friday night. <laughs> oh, 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 oh. Well, I'm afraid once again we're out of time, but I promise we'll talk again very soon. like to understand your feelings toward people who fear the supernatural ghosts, spirits, and other intangible forces beyond the veil. Do you share this fear? Hmm. Is that so? Because that's not reflected in the way you are playing your game now, is it? Now, let us investigate your feelings toward other people in greater depth. What you value, what you respect in yourself and others. Which would you say was most important in a person, loyalty or honesty? So, you would tell the truth even if it resulted in an unpleasant outcome for a friend. And what about honesty then? And charity? Such a giving and caring person. Very nice. Oh, well, once again, I'm afraid we're out of time. We'll talk again soon. I'm going to show you some uh, pictures of people that you have come to know and like. Maybe you don't like them as much as you pretend to. Well, this is an exercise in honesty. Tell me which person from each pair you like the most. Take your time, your answers are important. Tell me, in this little game you're playing so diligently, who is it that you most dislike? A bit too bitchy for your taste. Often the lack of confidence manifests itself as overconfidence. Think about that. Is that not just a little bit like you? Oh, once again. I'm afraid we're out of time. We'll talk again soon.
still getting pretty tense up there, aren't they? Is the night going the way you hoped it would? I see. And you think that these four people are getting what they deserve? I'm trying to help you in this game you're playing. You understand that it's not good for you. It's not good for anyone. And I can't say that you've been very charitable in the way you play. Self-indulgence? Do you even believe that I am real? Ow. The heart of the problem at all comes down to this. Can you really tell the difference anymore? Now, that was exciting, wasn't it? Well done! The game seems to be going very well. Yes, all the good work we did exploring the source of your fear. And you've just gone and used it for ill. Mm-hmm. Your overwhelming fear of things that are dead. You have turned it against these people who you so desperately want to torment. Has it been worth it? You have gone too far now. Don't you see? Huh? Don't you see that this torture porn has gone too far. Huh? Now what gives you the right to play God in these people's lives? What makes you so special then? Huh? You're sick! You're a sick fuck! What the hell have you done for them? Huh? What the hell have you done to them? Psychopath. Psychopath! Oh, Joshua. You should have listened to me. Because of your choices, people have died. I don't know which is worse, actively triggering events that lead to someone's death or passively allowing a tragedy to occur. Because you couldn't lift a goddamn finger to help someone else. Remember last year, huh? How you left your poor sisters to die? You did nothing to help them. Paralyzed by your own self-centered fear while a real threat was closing in. No, it's all about you, Josh. It's always all about you. Your game has gone terribly wrong. And your friends, like your sisters, have deserted you. You're all alone. Can you feel how cold your loneliness has become? Did you hurt them? Joshua, why did you hurt them? Well, they didn't hurt you, Joshua. Not intentionally. They made a stupid mistake and a terrible tragedy befell your sisters. They did not intend for that to happen. It just did. And they were sorry at least until you subjected them to your night of horrific torture. 
just a game? And I hope for your sake, Joshua, that you can find redemption. I wonder how much these sessions are of any help to you now. You just won't listen to me and think seems pretty... Fucked up. Hmm. So I I'm gonna leave you now, Josh. It's time you learn. There's more to be afraid of that can be dreamt up by the unhinged imagination of a self-indulgent, spoiled little brat! You had so many people who cared about you, who were willing to help! But at every turn, you choose to push them away. Now you're all alone. <laughs> Though by the sounds of things, you won't be alone for long. No, you won't be alone for long. Deep breaths, Josh. <laughs>